I have new glasses. Is there even any difference? I lose glasses all the time, so my glasses policy is buy cheap ones. Went to Walmart this morning, got three pairs. Last three pairs of glasses I got was in June of last year, so that was eight months ago. So on average, I lose a pair of glasses every three months. I am not the person who can have expensive glasses because they either get destroyed, left behind, or simply they just disappear. So that's my glasses story. We're at a school gym now, guys, because um, a few weeks ago we did wrestling photos, so today we're delivering them, and there's also going to be some sort of a ceremony during which they will honor Blani in some way. Blani's right here. I don't know exactly what is happening, I, I just know I'm not supposed to tell her, so I've been doing my best to keep the secret. And they're going, they're going to surprise her with something. So this, this is going to be, this should be interesting to watch. Should we see one? What do we think? Or should we just we'll see one? Yeah. That's so what you want to do it? it? Yeah. So then just place them down. And All you have to do is do this. And then place them down in alphabetical order. They're already in alphabetical order. Oh, yeah, this they... isn't working. This is our first of our, what I hope to be many award ceremonies that we have for the Northern Delaware. Wrestling Academy. So welcome and thanks for being here. First, before we get started in the formality of our program, I just want to first and foremost thank all the wrestlers. If you could just stand up and let's give them a round of applause. Sometimes life, as I mentioned earlier, um, gives us some rugged and jagged pieces of, of material. And what do we do with it when we have it? Often, for most of us, we fall to our knees and rarely get up. For others, they find deep within themselves a new life that forms either through their own faith in God or through faith in someone that they surround themselves with good people who encourage them, who help lift them up as we are taught in this program. That a loss is only a loss if we don't learn from it and if we don't encourage each other to, to move forward. So I'd like to call up for a moment, if I may, uh, Lonnie and David and Sheridan, if you can come up here. So I met Lonnie about four years ago, um, before her life took a, a drastic turn. Lonnie's very young, beautiful, wonderful husband, beautiful daughter, very passionate about many things. And last year, just a few days after she turned 35, she was diagnosed with stage four cancer. But her love for life and her courage to move forward is extraordinary. So as part of this program, Lonnie, we want to present you with an award to salute you, Lonnie Brooks, for sharing a life of beauty, inspiration, and hope. You have encouraged others to dream, to love, and to live abundantly. surprised because it was a long award ceremony and then at the end I was like hmm, I wonder who he's talking about I wonder who this person is and what they've done